Welcome to another tutorial of the online web and mobile editions of SimLab's Stages product. In previous tutorials, we set up our test project with two stages. We must have at least two stages with synchronized components to demonstrate our timeline functionality. Now, we will align and synchronize our stage components. Let's choose Stage 1 as our reference or alignment model. We do that by right-clicking on the three dots near the Not Synced indicator, then selecting Set as Synchronized. This will allow us to use that as our reference object when performing the alignment to synchronize. By clicking Set as Synchronized, that also allows this component to be visible in the Matterport tab. Now that we have a scan flagged as synchronized, we will be able to use it as a reference model to align other components with. Let's select Stage 2 from our list of stages, then close the stage list. You can see the Scan 2 status is currently set as Not Synced. We will align Scan 2 component with what we have already set as our reference scan. Pro tip, on subsequent alignment to synchronize, you will be able to select any previously synchronized component as your reference component. Select the three-dot icon next to the Not Synced message. Choose Synchronize, and a pop-up will be presented asking you to verify you wish to start a synchronization. Validate it. The component is then loaded into view. As you can see, the wizard box, the selected component, which is our Scan 2, needs three points to be located. We now have selected Scan 1 component in the wizard. When aligning, the overall concept is to set three specific coordinate points in the selected component space that are available in the reference model. Best practice is to select points at the extreme boundaries of the component. This will increase your alignment accuracy. Pro tip, I recommend on large projects, you define these like they would be done as survey control points. These are points that will be visible and selectable as the project progresses. On scan days, they can be defined as areas that need to be clear and clean and able to be easily identified. So I'm going to navigate to a location to place the first point, then click on 1A in the tool. The cursor changes to a target. I place the target at my preferred point. I continue by navigating to my next choice of location. Once there, I click 1B, place the point target. Time for another pro tip. If you inadvertently place your target point at a place you did not want or intend, simply re-click on the wizard point and reselect that particular location. So now we have set three points in our selected component with the indicators all filled. That lit the command button to go to the next step. When I go to the next step, I'll be presented a list of reference components to choose from. So far, we only have one component. In stage one, we set scan one as a reference component earlier. If this was a more mature project, you would have numerous components to select from as reference components. We now select scan one. The accept component button is enabled. We click the button to accept that component as our reference component. As in the previous step, we navigate into the model. Another pro tip, if you first click any point in the wizard box of the reference component, a mini window opens at the top of the screen, showing you the location of the corresponding point in the step one reference object. You can expand the mini window for a larger view, then navigate to the coordinating location, reselect step two reference point, then set the actual sync location point. Now, continue to follow the same steps for each of the other two points. Now we have defined our second set of points with all indicators filled. We can click on the Accept Sync button in the wizard. We see Stage 2 Scan 2 is now set to Synced. We can check the creation of our timeline in the Matterport screen. Click the Matterport button. In the bottom area of the screen, in the middle, we see we have an arrow we can click to open our timeline. We see both of our two stages, once we open the timeline, that we have synchronized components in. We are currently on stage two. Now we can verify our alignment. When we switch to stage one, we will be in the same location with the same angle of view. Let's navigate to a different location, select the timeline again. We will again be in the same location as the same angle of view in our previous 
position. Congratulations. You've completed synchronization of your first two scans. You are now qualified stages, web, and mobile edition professional. Thanks for watching SimLabs tutorials. Check out our other videos on our YouTube channel.